If you've been scrolling on Instagram Reels or TikTok recently, which, let's be real, we all have been doing, then you've probably come across a podcast clip that looks like this. One of the keys to getting more listeners on your podcast is creating engaging snippets that leave people hungry for more. These snippets should be captivating, concise, and under a minute in length. So let's talk about exactly how to edit these clips for free. In this video, I'm assuming that you've already edited your full video podcast. You're going to need that project file in order to create clips. If you haven't already done that, then watch the video linked above where I'll teach you how to edit a video podcast for free using DaVinci Resolve, which is the editing software that we'll be using in this video. The first step is to listen to your podcast episode and identify a part that really represents the entirety of the episode. You want a part that grabs attention and showcases what your podcast is all about. So this could be a powerful quote, a funny moment, or a fascinating insight. Once you've found that snippet, Write down the timestamp so you can easily locate it during the editing process. Remember, the goal is to create curiosity and leave your audience wanting more. Now that we have our engaging snippet, it's time to edit it. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve, a powerful and free editing software. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download it. I've linked it in the description of this video. Open up your video podcast file in DaVinci Resolve, and then locate to the timestamp that you'd like to edit. Once you've located the start of your clip, press B on your keyboard and you'll use the razor tool to cut on every track. Now you want to locate the end of the clip as well and do the same thing. Remember to keep this under a minute long. Now you're going to copy and paste this section into a new timeline. So press A on your keyboard to turn back to the select tool and you're going to click and drag over all of the clips that you've already cut. Right click and press copy. Now head to file, new timeline, and name your timeline. I like to name it something about what the clip is about. Keep empty timeline selected, but deselect use project settings. Navigate to Format and select Use Vertical Resolution. This will make sure that your clip is 1080 by 1920 in a vertical aspect ratio. You can leave the rest of the settings the same. Press Create. Now you want to paste that clip that you copied before into this new timeline. So simply right click and press Paste. Now that you have your clip content moved over to your new timeline, you want to design the layout of the clip. So you're going to click on one of the speakers in the timeline and use the inspector panel tools to resize and reposition the clip. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the X and Y position to place one speaker at the very top of the clip. It may have to be zoomed out a little bit so we can fit both speakers in. Now you want to do the same to the other speaker and put them on the bottom of the clip. So I'm going to select the other speaker on the timeline and use the same tools to make sure that speaker fits the bottom of the frame. Now you have the layout of your clip. We're going to export this clip now so we can use a different software to add captions to it. So head to File, Quick Export, leave the first option selected and press Export. Make sure to save it to somewhere where you'll be able to find it easily. Now you want to transfer that video to your phone because we're going to use CapCut to add captions to the video. You can use AirDrop between Mac and iPhone, or you can use something like Google Drive or WeTransfer. Download CapCut from the App Store on your phone and open up the app. New project, select your clip, go to text on the bottom, auto captions, Make sure From Video is selected, press Start, and the app will generate captions for you. To make sure the captions are correct, click Batch Edit, and you can edit each line. You can move these captions around by selecting and moving them. At the bottom, click Style and pick a look for your captions. Make sure Apply to All Captions is selected. When you're done, select the Export button in the top right-hand corner and the video will be ready to share on TikTok or any vertical video platform. If you record on Riverside, you can do this extremely easily using our Clips feature. I've created the exact same clip using Riverside's Clips feature in under one minute. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the video we just created using DaVinci and CapCut, and here's the exact same video created on Riverside. Now. Imagine you could have AI find the most engaging parts of your episodes so that you can skip the planning process. That's right, Riverside can do that too. Our Magic Clips feature will find engaging pieces of your content for your audience and design them for you with captions all using AI. It's by far the easiest way to create videos for social media platforms. 
Take a look at this video next to see just how much easier you can make your post-production process with this feature. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and if you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in our next one.